The basics of voice over IP troubleshooting comes down to a couple of things. And those things are quality of service. Do we have quality of service from both sides? And dropped packets or lost packets. So using your analyzer, probably the easiest way is to ensure, number one, that you're looking at your voice over IP quality of service byte properly. There are two ways to decode that byte. One is the original RFC type of service and the second is differentiated services code point which is what I'm using. In the IP header you'll see it's labeled type of service but it's telling me DSCP so I'm looking at the voice signaling and again SIP in this case to invite that's the uh, the request that's being made and we notice that there is quality of service on one side but when I look at the response I notice that what's coming back is no quality of service so there's our first step in troubleshooting is to ensure that we have QoS and the same QoS on both sides and in this case you can see that we do not the invite is set for AF31 and the response is zero basically there is no QoS coming back from the end point also if I look at the real-time protocol let's just do the same we want to ensure that we have quality of service and we see that we have a higher quality of service here on the RTP AF03 and let's see if we get anything on the return again AF03 and on the stuff coming from the other side we see that it's zero so potential voice over IP problems here being one side has quality of service and one side does not so now that we know there is a QoS issue as far as both sides are not playing with the same properties we can expect one side probably will have some packet loss with Observer, there's some easy ways to see this by clicking on Expert Analysis, going to the Voice and Video Conferencing. You can see that we've got some calls going on here, and really there's this main one. And I've moved my columns to make it really easy for me to see. And, and I do see on this first call that there are four packets lost. And not that that's a big thing out of 13,000. 537 that's a pretty low percent as you can see packets lost percent is 0.02 percent so that's not a very high percentage probably not going to affect the quality of this call but some of the pluses with observer and being able to troubleshoot voice very quickly is I can quickly identify I have lost packets I know what is the percentage and the other thing that observer gives me is based on each of these SIPs, the uh, session initiation protocol here, I can see in the signaling one side has QoS and I can see the other side does not. So I didn't even have to look at packets and I can also see on the RTP side the same issue. I see that I have QoS value of zero and I also have on the other side a QoS value of 46 so I can very quickly see that one side of the conversation um, does have QoS and one side of the conversation does not have quality of service so we can expect that's going to cause us problems the second step that we can look at here is what's the MOS and R factor so MOS is a scale between 0 and 5 and we can see the MOS is actually pretty good. Mean opinion score is 4.1. And R factor is a scale between 1 and 100. And we see that's 83. Again, pretty good. Very good. The other things I look for, jitter. What is our jitter total maximum? And I see our max jitter is about 1.6 
milliseconds and bad jitter would be somewhere approaching 150 milliseconds so we can see that we've got pretty low jitter for this particular call so again should not affect the quality of the call um, bursts and gaps the way that I remember how this process works is burst begins with B burst is bad gap begins with G gap is good so to define it burst is a period of packet loss and gap is a period between bursts so a simple rule of thumb in using the expert observer in troubleshooting voice is if I take my duration of the call which is 2 minutes 26 seconds so that will be a hundred and forty six seconds minus my setup two seconds so okay a hundred and forty six two minutes would be 120 plus 26 146 minus 2 144 so my gap should be close to 144 if there are no problems with this call and if I look at my gap it's not quite it's only one minute seven seconds so that tells me that there's a kind of a problem and that problem is packet loss that there were some some periods of packet loss so that's a very easy way as well you know our gap duration average gap duration should be basically the call duration minus setup so if I look at my duration subtract my setup that should equal my gap if there's no problems if if it doesn't equal the gap then that is another indicator that we do have potential um, voice problems and then finally we can listen to the call if you want that's one of the things for for jitter purposes to see if there are any problems you can click a call right click the call and say I want to play the audio and the analyzer will say okay what what which streams do you want to play it knows which two streams sort of go together and I can say I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this first stream and say play and we can listen to the call hear a little journey going on nice nice choice of music so that's one of the pluses of observer as well is to be able to listen to the call for jitter purposes and see if there is a problem that we can hear on the network or if we don't then it's probably something with the handset the uh, headset you know a, a physical hardware type problem so hopefully that's given you a little bit of insight into voice troubleshooting and, and some of the simple techniques to do it, looking for QoS mismatch type problems, looking for jitter problems greater than 150 milliseconds in time or approaching 150 milliseconds in time, packet loss. Those are all problems that will affect the quality of the voice call and people will start complaining. So thanks for listening.